Video 450, Mermaid, Part 30. In the top level types, we have two corrections. In the global tile chord type, we need a tile size exponent because we have different size tiles in our tile map. So we don't know what the bounds of global tile X and global tile Y are unless we know the size of the tile. Same deal for our local tile coordinate. Even though we already have all these members, this data type is ambiguous if we don't know what tile size it applies to. In the mermaid function section, within editor put U32, symmetric bilateral iso iso isolated, I was about to say isometric, isolated, in this function, we've made the call to a function that takes a global coordinate and converts it to a local coordinate. And we're going to use our reusable global and local coordinates within the mermaid data section so that we don't thrash the garbage collector. This is an input parameter. This is an output parameter. We've lined things up like this so we know that we're using the correct types in the correct order. Before we call this function, we got to fill it out. So we are just carrying over these inputs into these member variables. I for input, M for member. Then inside of the symmetric radial isolated code, we're doing the exact same thing. Here's our reusable global and local point data that we're going to assign to object GTC and LTC for global tile core and local tile coordinate. We're gonna copy over these inputs into the members of the global tile coordinate, and then we're gonna convert the global tile coordinate to the local tile coordinate. And this, once again, is an output parameter. What we did previously, footnotes, and what we did in this video. If you want a longer explanation, go here. You are on the fast playlist. Like, subscribe, send money.